Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm just going to take a quick look at my uh, Smith & Wesson Model 66. Uh, it's the 357 Magnum K-Frame. Uh, it's got the 2.5 inch barrel chambered in 357 Magnum. Uh, first, let's safety check the weapon. And as you can see, the gun is unloaded. Now, with this particular Smith & Wesson in general, it is a Model 66, but it is a Model 66-1. Uh, from what I looked, from what I saw on the uh, Smith & Wesson forum, on the serial number that this gun was made somewhere in between, I believe it was 78 or 79, uh, which also means, since it's a dash one, that it has the pinned barrel plus the recess cylinder, which basically means that when you take, when you load the gun, instead of the bullet sitting on top of the cylinder, it is actually recessed in the cylinder so it is flush. The only thing I don't like about that is that when you load it, you hear the round moving around in there, but that's really not a big deal to me because I bought this gun as to collect it basically because of the two features that I just told you about. Um, they made this gun from 1970 to 2005 and they just reintroduced the gun for 2014. It also has the firing pin on the hammer which they do not have anymore, plus it does not have the lock like all the newer ones do um, basically I've shot some of this Blazer 357 out of it, it's 158 grain I haven't shot a lot, maybe about a dozen rounds through it just for the hell of it but basically I've been shooting maybe 238 specials through it uh, these are the uh, HPR 125 grain bullets. Um, haven't seen HPR around here that much from where I am. Um, they work pretty good though, I have to say. Uh, it, the other thing is too, it did not come with these wood grips on it. It actually came with this whole grip. I bought these grips on eBay for I think like 20 bucks, something like that. Figure, you know, I've seen pictures of it with these grips on it, so I wanted to get the grips to actually go on the gun. Besides this, I mean, this this works great. It's just uh, I just wanted to make it look make it look original. Um, the trigger pull on it is really good. Uh, it's it, it's a double action, single action. The uh, double action is uh, kind of heavy. It. As you can see, and then you got single action, which basically makes it almost like a hair trigger. Um, the lock up on the cylinder is good. I bought this gun like this. I have not had this gun refinished, so basically there are some minor scratches on it. I, I mean, you can see something like that, but other than that, this is the way I got it. There's no indication of holster wear on it whatsoever. I mean, this gun looks like it was barely shot. I mean, the only way I knew it was used was because of the ring on the cylinder, the index ring. But other than that, this gun is in really good shape. It has the uh, red ramp for the front sight, and then the rear is adjustable for windage and elevation. Uh, basically, whoever had this before me had this gun sighted in pretty damn good because this this gun is really accurate. Um, wish I had some range footage to show you, but the range I go to doesn't allow it, so I gotta find somewhere to go and do some shooting videos. But other than that, this is basically it. This is my Smith & Wesson Model 66. If I could give, let you guys take a quick look at it. And like I said, they just reintroduced this gun back into production for this year. And I 
think the gun is somewhere the the, the 2014 models. I think it sells for like 850 or something like that. I actually got this after tax for a little over six. So I think it was a good buy. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon.